We live in a small world. We live in a smaller world with bigger possibilities. A world in which there are no more singular events or isolated actions. A world where new things are made possible because everything is interconnected. And we see the potential of this new world. We couple ideas, unite knowledge, span technologies, so we can forge new connections and reveal possibilities. Our thinking is free of boundaries. We break down silos to build up new insights, ideas, and innovations that others can't. We're relentless and responsive, collaborative and agile. Unstoppable because united. So here's to a vision that's bolder, to a world that's better. Here's to the future we want to inhabit. Integrating all we know to create all we can be. Wipro. So, uh, topic for our presentation is financial ratio analysis on Wipro. Next slide, please. So, uh, here are the contents that we will be discussing today. Journey of the Wipro. And uh, in Journey of the Wipro, we will be telling you the timeline it went through from beginning to right now. And in company profile, we'll be discussing the history and its current achievements and uh, what, are, uh, what, are the, what are the current status of the company, market, side of the, uh, market size of the IT industry, total revenue of the IT industry, key organizations in IT industries, and uh, object and objective and research methodology, and uh, ratio calculations, service provided, and ending with the conclusions. Next slide, please. So it was incorporated in 1945 with the name Western Indian Vegetable Products Limited. In 1982, it entered into IT product business. It entered into third party R&D services and IT services in 1990. Uh, it, it was listed in the New York Stock Exchange and, returned, uh, and entered the BPO business in 2000. And in 2017, launched a new brand identity. So this is the company profile. Uh, it was incorporated in Amal Nir, Maharashtra by Mohammed Premji. It was the same year as uh, Hasim, Hasim Premji was born. And uh, it started with his ad as an edible oil company. And after some years, it changed its, its name to Western Indian Palm Refined Oil Limited. Then uh, and after some, uh, like within uh, 15 years, or it it's, uh, transformed itself into a leading player in FMCG industry. And uh, for current, it's a global IT consultant and business pro process service provider. It is ranked, um, ranked among the third fastest growing IT company in the world. Its brand value is of uh, 2,276,84,835 la uh, crore rupees with a AA plus rating. AA plus rating is given to the company who have a good financial backing. And uh, it is among the top 10 most valuable IT brand in its sector. Uh, market size of IT industry in India is of 12,56,140 crore rupees. And uh, export of IT industry from India is of 9,50,091 crore rupees. And the domestic IT industry consists of 3,29 crore rupees. So this is the sector breakup of Wipro industry from like the departments from which the revenue is generated. The IT department of Wipro generates a revenue of 57% whereas BPO generates a revenue of 21.20% and ERD which is engineering research and development and software products they generate a revenue of 21.80%. These are some of the key organizations, key competitors of Wipro. These are the revenue of some of the key organizations, which is TCS, it had a revenue of 1,44,733 crores in 2019. Infosys had a revenue of 81,676 crores. HCL Technologies had a revenue of 59,734 crores. Tech Mahindra, 34,539 crores. Accenture, being one of the biggest players of the IT industry in India, had a revenue of 
टू लैख एटी सेवन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी फोर करोड़ रुपीज एंड विप्रो हैड रेवेन्यू ऑफ फिफ्टी एट थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी थ्री करोड़ रुपीज दीज आर सम ऑफ द रेशियोज दैट वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड दैट वी हैव फाउंड ऑन द इंटरनेट इन दीज रेशियोज देर आर लिक्विडिटी रेशियो प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी रेशियो एसेट टर्न ओवर रेशियो एंड सॉलवेंसी रेशियो फॉर एन इन्वेस्टर हु गोज एंड सीज दिस लाइक who sees these ratios from the liquidity ratio the investor would be able to know the company's from the liquidity ratio the the from the liquidity ratio the anybody would be able to know the company's current assets the relationship between the current asset and the cost with relative to its current obligations to the company profitability ratio would be profitability ratio would tell sorry sir. profitability ratio would tell the you can take it out profitability ratio will be uh, will, will tell us about the uh, uh, total uh, ratio, uh, calculation of uh, income and uh, all the uh, different expenses gross profit margin percentage shows us uh, total profit uh, without deducting uh, without deducting sales and uh, net profit Operating. margin shows us net profit margin percentage shows us uh, total profit which company is uh, currently earning with percentage Uh, excluding all the different taxes and uh, asset turnover ratio jay please jay the objective and research methodology the objective of this uh, research was to find the profitability position of the company to analyze the asset turnover ratio to determine the solvency position of the company and the research method research has been done on the secondary data that has been found on the internet these are the services provided by wipro in banking financial uh, banking financial services and insurance they provide uh, different softwares to the to their clients like city bank healthcare and life science uh, they uh, they invest a huge amount in e r and d producing more uh, good um, uh, healthcare devices and in retail consumer they have uh, different personal care home care uh, office furnitures and in global media and telecom they provide a uh, softwares to the companies for uh, uh, global media and telecom they provide service to the they provide customer services customer over services, the phone yeah. and they also provide the uh, customer service over the internet and chat services and the energy natural resources and utility include the uh, solar power wind mills and the hydro electricity that the wipro goes and manufacturing and high tech industry of wipro includes the medical devices which the company makes for big medical giants and uh, one more thing it includes uh, industry 4.0 4.0 is uh, all about automation and uh, which uh, which includes uh, iot internet of internet of things which connect every devices while manufacturing which is up for uh, upcoming time and, uh, so uh, from the conclusion in the conclusion slide we can conclude that uh, the company has enough cash in its hand as of today to get into any sector and the company even though due to its philanthropy works the company is not able to generate a lot of profit but if an investor who is looking to invest in wipro should go ahead and invest only for long time service basis because in short time the profit generation will be very low and in the recent that is from on june 2nd 2019 wipro was able to acquire international techne group incorporated which is a melbourne based it company these are the references from where we have Stop, taken please thank you thank you